Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Pokemon Mail 2. This is Ruthless Rain here with a pretty special video today. Um, I'm actually have my PSA submission finally ready and I'm actually going to run it through with you guys to show you the cards that I'm going to be submitting um, tomorrow actually. So yeah, I have 15 cards in total. Um, I've been receiving about 3 or 4 holos in the mail over the last week or two. So that's why I'm classifying this as Pokemon Mail 2. So yeah, I'm going to show you the 15 cards I'm going to submit. Um, I'm really excited about them, obviously. And yeah, I'll talk about each one as I go through. These are they're all first editions. So the first card I have here is Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. I actually have this already in PSA 9. It's absolutely gorgeous card. Very good condition. Um, really hoping for a 10 on this one. Really nice card there. The next card I have here is Koga's Beedrill, quite a rare card in my opinion. Um, haven't seen that many of them, especially in the 10 quality. Um, this one's in really nice condition as well. Good, Very good chance of PSA 10, nothing noticeably wrong with it. Uh, beautiful hollow, look at that, gorgeous. Fingers crossed on this one. Uh, I have a Dark My Champ. If I'm honest with you guys, I actually don't think this is a PSA 10. Um, there's actually a little bit of marking wear on the back. Don't see if you just see down there um, and on the edges. So, hoping for like a PSA 9 on this one. Still a gorgeous card and worth getting graded, but you have to be realistic when you send your cards in. Giovanni's Last Resort. Um, not a holo, but I actually really like this card. It's a rare from the Team Rocket series. Uh, I just really like the artwork with the um, Nitto King there and Giovanni's pose. So, I thought, you know what? Why not? It's a really nice card. There's not that many graded. I'm going to throw mine in. Really good condition. Hope for the 10. This card is actually one of the cards that has come in the mail. Uh, extremely rare, actually. The Dark Magneton First Edition. This card actually has a really low PSA 10 population. I think it's like in the 30s. Um, apparently, it's very hard to get a 10 on this. Um, the condition is pretty good. I don't know if it's a 10 because if they judge it so harshly, you know, they might say, oh, it's not quite there. But I think it's pretty good condition. Um, yeah, so if this got a 10, that would actually be worth a little bit of money, I think. Some of these go for like $300, $400 in PSA 10, I believe, but correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, I'm really hoping this one goes well. <laughs> Important card right there. Very, I was actually quite lucky to get that one. I got that one on eBay. Uh, Giovanni's Persian, another quite uh, rarer card. Really nice holo there. Giovanni, I love that. Um, from the Gym uh, Challenge series, which is my favourite. Quite good condition. Hoping for a 9 or 10 on this one. Yeah, really nice card. Blaine's Growlithe. This card's actually just a common. Um, I needed to get to 15 cards for the PSA Platinum series where you get like a better deal when you submit your first 15 cards. So this was just one to fill the gaps, I guess. But I just really liked it. You know, it's, I really like the artwork. The Growlithe looks really happy and cool there. And um, yeah, it's, it was in really nice condition. So I thought, you know what, just throw it in there because, you know, it's a cool card. That's the only common though I have actually, just so you guys know. This one came only about an hour ago in the mail, so this is very fresh. Lieutenant says is Magneton. This one is absolutely mint. The condition is ridiculous for this. Like I honestly think this is a definite 10. Like It's really quite good. Very cool holo. Lots of things going on. Uh, from the Gym Hero, sorry, Gym Hero series, number 8. Gorgeous. First edition. Not many of them around. Really love that card, actually. Very cool. And this is my lucky... First edition Dark Dragonite. Um, this is the card I actually pulled, I think in my last video. Yeah, absolutely amazing. This is just a gorgeous card. Really good condition. Like I'd say mint. If this got a 10, I'd be stoked. It is just one of the coolest cards I've seen. Absolutely cool. Like Very rare. People really like that. I love it. I would not sell that. If I got it, I'd just keep it. And this is one of my lucky, my lucky Charizard. I pulled from a base set too. For anyone watching this video, because um, it's the base set too, it's considerably worth less than a first edition or a shutterless, but it's still a really nice card, and um, yeah, of course, definitely worth getting graded. Just how can you not love that Charizard, even with the base set too? It's just still absolutely awesome. So, fingers crossed on that one for a 10. Kabutops, quite a good card. Um, this one actually came about two weeks ago. I didn't get a chance to do another mail edition because of work and stuff, but yeah, really cool card with the fossil edition, very old school. Um, obviously got the holo there. Actually, not too much holo stuff going on, but still very cool. Quite good condition, not excellent. Probably a nine on this one, um, but you know, who knows? Maybe hopefully the grade is like it for a ten, but yeah, very cool card, very old school. 
I have a dark dry dragon air here. Uh, this card itself, I believe, is a rare. Um, I actually am grading this mainly because I wanted to keep the. I thought it'd be cool to have it like in conjunction with the dark dragon knight. Um, it's not a hollow. It's just a rare, but it's a, I, like, I really like the artwork. Very cool. You don't see many of them around, so I thought you know, he can keep the dark dragon knight company, and yeah, why not? Cool card. Don't see many of them. Another card I pulled myself here is the Dark Gyarados. This is one of the first videos I ever made of on opening packs. Yeah, awesome card. Did not expect to open three that day, Team Rocket packs. And yeah, this is the last one in the last pack. Gorgeous hollow. Very cool condition, actually. I, Yeah, just looking at it now, a bit closer. Yeah, it's... I can't see that not going for like a 9 or a 10. Hope. That's awesome. And lucky last is Misty's... Oh, no, sorry. I have two Misty's. Confusing. <laughs> Missy Cedra, first edition. Uh, very cool card. Actually, quite, like Giovanni's Persian, actually very low on population. I don't know if that's due to the uh, quality of the card or just like a coincidence. Um, and yeah, very nice. Very cool holo. Missy's, I love Missy's cards because they come out really strong with the blue. It's really nice. So hoping for a nice quality there. Um, the card itself is in... Yeah, really, the, the edging's actually really good. So that one should go really well. And sorry, Lucky Last is actually another Misty, but Misty's Gold Duck. Um, very cool card. And yeah, love that artwork. Don't see many of these in person. Um, if I'm actually honest, I actually realised when I actually opened this that there is a few scratches on the hollow here. I don't know if it's, I can show it to you guys on this camera. Um, and I can't probably get the light just right, but yeah. Oh, I have to be realistic, I think this is a 9. Um, or eight, maybe actually. If, technically, if there's hollow scratches, that could actually even go down to seven. But you know what? It's not. It's still worth grading. It's a really beautiful card and very old school and a collector's item. Thank you very much for watching Pokemon Mail Two, guys. Um, I'm very excited for this submission, so I'll be sending this off tomorrow. And um, yeah, then I'll have a really cool unboxing submission video in a couple of weeks' time, which will um, probably be my best video yet coming up. <laughs> okay, you have a great day, everyone. Thank you very much for watching.